Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in as always. You can see what I'm flying here today. It's the Hubson Zeno Mini Pro. So I'm at Monroe Park. We have 12 mile an hour winds with 20 mile an hour gusts. Um, I originally had plans to fly across the harbor today with this, but I think it's a little too windy for that flight. So we'll just keep it in this area. Not many people here as there's snow on the ground. There's one person walking over the boardwalk and one person behind me parked back there a bit. So I have a screen recording going. I'm just going into my app now. And as you can hear, it's pretty much ready. So I just had aircraft disconnection notice come up, but uh, yeah, it's saying not connected. Okay, it's, it's connected now. No, USB cable is not connected. Aircraft disconnected. Wow, okay. I am going to go back to my cable that I purchased because I'm thinking it's that. USB disconnected. So let's see here. Let's see if this makes a difference, guys. Because I've been using this quite a bit until now, and I haven't got disconnections. Still saying disconnected. Okay, I'm gonna step out for a second and reboot the drone and see what happens. There we go, Skip telling me I'm ready to fly. So, I think I'm going to have to put it in sport mode. So, we're now in sport. Actually, I'm going to put it in normal mode. And if we have a little bit of issue, then I'll switch to sport. So, let's take off. Known obstacle avoidance mode. Please fly with caution. Okay. Drone is up in the air. Just gonna gain a little bit of altitude here. So I'm facing the car. And yeah, it's a little too windy to try the harbor flight, guys. Let's put the video on. Make sure we are in 4K30. Yes. And we're on HDR. Okay, we will turn the bit rate up to 200 and start recording. Okay, so there you go. You guys can see I'm sitting right in my car here. Let's do a little droney. Yeah, there's no way we're doing a harbor flight today. I'm getting a strong wind warning, so that's not going to happen, guys. Oh, and I'm also getting a bit of jello. That's that strong wind speed, too, though. You guys can see that now. I can see it on my screen, so. I'm guessing you guys can see it too. I'm going to gain a bit more altitude though. Make sure I'm clear of that tree behind me. Okay, I'm going to... Hold on. Get this over in front of me first. I want it to drop the speed down a bit in it. There's the cannon, guys. So I'm pretty much right in front of me here. Let's spin around. I don't like that, that I'm uh, seeing a little bit of jello. So let's... We're now in film mode. Will it fight the wind? And yeah, it actually is. Okay, so I'm in film mode. I'm, I'm not seeing the jello now. 
No, I didn't. Oh, there's a bit. So, okay, I'm going to contact Hubson again and let them know that this is happening. So, this is apparently an ongoing problem with a lot of Hubson owners, and uh, they really have to fix this, guys. When you spend $700 plus on a drone, you don't want to see jello. That's something your drone should not have for the cost that you pay. You should not be going through this. So We know the drone still has a small amount of jello. It's not bad. But I mean, it's not good either because you don't want to see that. You don't want to see jello in your footage. Yeah, that wind is uh, really carrying my drone. It's, I'm only in film mode and I'm having a hard time to yaw to the right. But I, I can really hear that wind blowing outside the car here. It's it's pretty it's pretty hefty. It's got to be more than 12 mile an hour. That's what the app is telling me. 12 mile an hour with 20 mile an hour gusts. I can guarantee it's at least 20 mile an hour with the gust. So I'm not having a problem going this way. that camera up. Yeah, I really wanted to do an across the harbor flight today with this guys, but I can't see that happening until uh, probably spring. It's just this is what we get all winter. We'll be very lucky to get a day that isn't windy at all. That's what it's like living on the coast. So it's not too bad for jello right now. I mean, the odd time I'll see it. When that wind gust really picks up, I'll see it. And it looks like my horizon is just slightly off. Let's check that cannon out. That's an anti aircraft gun. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, this actually used to be a, a military base here for uh, seaplanes. See something out in something out in that water, guys. Did you guys see that, or was that a fractal on the screen? Uh, it's hard for me to tell on the phone here. So what I do like about this drone is its flight characteristics. It has characteristics just like the Mavic Mini. It is so smooth flying doing a manual circle me. Absolutely great flyer. I must say that about the drone guys. They got the flight characteristics bang on on this drone. Now, if they can remedy this camera up, we'll be all set. Camera and the gimbal. I sent them an email there last week, letting them know what most of you have been commenting on my last flight video, that the image looks a little soft and blurry. And... Uh, they said they would pass it on to their engineers and email me back when they have a fix. So now when I get home, I'm going to send them another email about this bit of jello in the, uh, in the gimbal. Look at that sunset, guys. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm just 
trying not to go out over the water just in case you know, I get those heavy gusts because we are only flying a 249 gram drone so I'm trying to stay right in this area I've been flying for seven minutes ten seconds now and we're down to 77 percent battery So this drone supposedly has what a 40 minute flight time I think they claimed now that's in ideal conditions and uh, nothing running you see we have one ferry in down there there's possibly two I can only notice one on the image here See you all going. That's what I don't like. Got to stay away from those birds, guys. I'm just having a little fly around here. See what the image is like. Now heading over the track a little bit. And I think that one person that was walking around is gone. I haven't seen them again since. So not a lot of people tend to come up here in the winter to walk around that track. Let's go full stick forward. It is a... Uh, a little bit fighting that wind you can see it's only geez what is my speed here 6.2 mile an hour that's what I'm getting guys now 5.9 as I guess I'm turning into the wind now yeah turning into the wind speed is decreasing uh, starting to pick up again now 6.7 so I'm guessing the wind is coming from behind me there Look at the glare on that snow beautiful awesome sunset guys down to 69 percent battery I'll fly it down probably to at least 40%, I guess. Possibly. I, I don't like to fly my drones any less than 30 max. I'll, I'll la usually land before I hit 30%. I don't like to uh, kill the batteries. They're so damn expensive. Most half-decent drones, you're going to pay at least $100 for a battery. And that's another thing, guys. I just uh, got a new Mavic Air 2 battery Christmas time there. And you would not believe the price of that. From DJI, straight from DJI, I paid $150 for that battery. I think it was just over $150. Like 150 three something or close to that look down at that uh, cannon that aircraft gun pick that camera back up you guys can see I'm right down there in that burgundy car Got one other person just pulled in here a second ago. Sixty five percent, guys. I can hear that drone just passing overhead.
and look at the color of the sky. I haven't seen blue skies here in at least a week or more. We've had all dreary, gloomy days. And finally get to see a nice clear sky today. But not the greatest windy day. And we're in for that for the next couple of days. We're supposed to get high winds here and surprise, surprise, another snowstorm Friday, guys. So I'll be breaking out the snow shovel again. I think we're supposed to get it Friday evening. But still, not nice. Nobody wants to see that fall. Especially when you don't own a snowblower. Well, I do own one. It's just... It needs work. It needs a few parts to uh, get it going again. Now that I think of it, I probably could have done this harbor flight if I had stayed at this altitude. But I, I don't want to risk it. Don't want to risk losing a drone. Especially at the price, guys. They're not worth losing for what you pay for them. Man, that thing circles really good. We are going to put it in normal mode. Haven't seen any more jello in uh, film mode. So we're now in normal mode. I'm going full stick forward. I'm not noticing any yet. We're down to 58% battery. I'm going to bring it in for a landing here soon. Fifty-seven. I've been flying for 14 minutes. The current environment has strong, strong wind, wind speed. Please pay attention to flight safety. Okay, guys, that's about it. I'm going to bring her down, bring her back, and bring her down. Getting high wind warnings. The current environment has strong wind speed. Please pay attention to flight safety. Okay. I'll bring her over in front of the car. Start bringing her down. I'm going to land right in front of the car where I took off. A little bit more forward. I can see it. Just had a big crow fly right in front of me. You might have seen him on the camera. Put that camera up. Now the wind is starting to take the drone a little bit. Bring it back. Yeah, it's, it's fighting, guys. You can see it drifting a little bit. So I'll bring it back again. Back up a little. So right there, hold on. Right there is about the center of the car. Now that wind is there, it's pushing it. And it stopped. Okay. Now it's moving again. I can hear it kind of voop, voop, kind of jittering. So let's get her down.
Okay, guys. That's it. She stopped recording. I'm going to get out and grab this drone, and then we'll do our little entry, little exit. Okay, so I'm back. I shut her down. And I'm not sure if it's normal here or not after shutting it down. I don't believe it is. It's giving me an abnormal compass reading. Uh, it's probably because I was so close to the car when I landed, I guess. Because it wasn't like that when I took off. And you guys seen I, I done a compass calibration. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little flight. Uh, pretty high winds here, so that's the reason why I didn't go across the harbor. But uh, next fine day, guys, that uh, we don't have high winds, I'll do that flight for you guys. I know a lot of you guys enjoy the across the harbor flight. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe. Leave us a like. Those likes will really help us out big time. They make YouTube uh, push our videos further around the world. Uh, make sure your notifications are on, guys, so you don't miss these videos. And until the next one, catch you later. Peace. Bye.